What's up everyone, welcome back. Cargo pants, let's talk about it. So it has been a few years since my last cargo pants video and I definitely think it's time for an update. So make sure that you guys watch till the end so you can see all these amazing cargos that I recommend. Now, here's a quick rapid fire of all the cargo pants that I still wear from the last video. First off, we got the regular cargo pants and I typically wear this whenever I skate, although my ankle's pretty messed up so I haven't been skating all too much. But these are the pants I do not care about. They can handle some wear and tear. They're made out of ripstop fabric and it's only 29 bucks. You can't beat that. And then we have the 511 Tactical Apex cargos, which are also a great bang for the buck. These are water repellents. There's a ton of pockets. There's a bunch of hidden pockets as well. Made out of ripstop fabric, gusseted areas, and there's also plenty of movements. I also skate in these as well. And then we have the Nike SB FTM cargos. These are now the SB Kearneys. They're basically the same exact thing. Slightly different design, but made out of the same fabrics. This was meant for skating coming from the Nike SB line. So of course it's made out of ripstop fabric. That way if you land primo, you're not going to die. And there's plenty of room and I love this brown colorway as well. I think you guys can see a pattern here. I grew up skating. But a lot of my style is inspired by skate culture and you're going to see another thing that my style is influenced by, which is of course tech wear. So we got three Nike ACG cargos here that I still rock. And I know these are a lot of pants already, but my job is to try on different outfits every day. So I'm rocking at least three outfits a day, trying different things out. So these get plenty of wear. We have the NRG woven cargos. There's plenty of storage and adjustable belts. It's not water repellents, but it's a very nice looking pair of cargo pants. And then we have the deploy cargos, which I wear all the time. So we got black and olive. These came from the last capsule that Earlson Hugh was head of designer for with Nike and Nike Lab ACG. But honestly, these cargos are quite special and very sought after. They're water repellent, has a cool cargo pocket design, adjustable cuff. And you can get rid of the pockets by hiding it for a more simplistic look. It's a very modular pair of pants and you can just feel the quality whenever you wear it. And if you bought them back in 2018, they're doing pretty well right now. Now let's get into the good stuff. These cargo pants right here have been my most worn lately. And especially because the fall season is basically here, this colorway matches perfectly. You got a rust orange color. Story MFG is the brand name and it is definitely not cheap by any means. So just keep that in mind. However, the construction on these pants is the best I've ever seen. And I know that because I paid for this with my own money and it definitely hurt. Anyways, the rust orange colorway makes a huge statement for sure. So I really try to keep the fits very simple. You've got unique cargo pockets on both sides, a parachute relaxed fit sizing and just clean details overall. You got the pleats, the embroidery. It's a nice pair of pants. I like styling these with their flannel. You know, you got the complimentary colors or just like hitting the cream notes. I feel like cream and rust orange always works perfectly. Plus it feels very fall and autumn-esque. You can go pretty wild with the styling of these and you can also go pretty wild on that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 250K. We just hit 200K. Thank you guys for the support. But I'm not sure if they sell this at the moment. They do have a ton of other colorways, black, gray, a mint lime color. Plus they have plenty of other cool garments Either way, a brand worth checking out and saving up for. Just like y'all gotta check out Urban Revival, the sponsor of today's video. Urban Revival has a ton of stores in Asia, which is why a lot of us in the West have not heard of this brand and we have definitely been missing out. What I like about Urban Revival is it strikes a good balance between affordability and quality. Everything is comfortable to wear, they have great designs and the pieces just look so good. Like just check out the statement pieces like this one I'm rocking right now and all of their other pieces, the patterns, the fabric, the cuts. As you can see, Urban Revival likes to incorporate incorporate playful design elements. I got a rabbit on this jacket right now along with some cool pattern. It just looks like a painting thrown on a jacket. And they've got other unique statement pieces inspired by oil paintings. And you even got some Japanese design elements too. Just check out this kimono noragi inspired piece. It's a bit puffy so it's perfect for the fall and winter time and you still get to maintain that Japanese-esque design. So as you can see there's definitely something for everyone. I just came across this kimono lapel denim jacket and I feel like I was missing out. And yeah just their statement pieces just add a fun design element to an outfit. It keeps things fresh while being a simplistic design and their accessories those are beautiful too like just check out this sling bag with that angular pattern that angular texture it just adds a cool element when you throw it on a fit it's a great way to layer for the fall as well yeah as you can already tell statement pieces are what they excel at whether it be in the form of an accessory or a minimal jacket with some tasteful touches to enhance it it's fall now and urban revival has definitely got you in the layering department if you have not heard of urban revival well you do now and you definitely should check them out all you have to do is click that link in the description, browse around the site. I'm sure there's going to be something for your taste. Once again, just click that link in the description and thank you Urban Revival for sponsoring this video. And next we have some cargo pants from Alpha Industries. These are the Jet Cargo Pants. 
I also skate in them as well. Ripstop fabric, plenty of movement, and it's a simple straight fit pair of pants. So nothing really too exciting about these. Colorway is nice, the construction is nice, and the sizing is very friendly. Okay, so these next cargo pants, you're probably not gonna hear from a lot of YouTubers. It's an Indonesian brand, and it's a very niche brand, and that is Traject by Idol Ido. And these are the Pliant 2.0 pants. So when it comes to these cargo pants, you can look at them from any angle, and it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye. The cargo pockets are massive, and there's pockets within pockets. Got a dedicated foam pocket as well, which is really cool. Plus, there's some customization options. You can taper the cuff to adjust it to your shoe sizes. You've got chunky sneakers, you've got slim sneakers. So these are a very versatile pair of pants. Definitely leans more on the tech wear side, although they can easily be styled with oversized button-ups, hoodies. And what I also like about these is that the cargo pockets have a different shade of black. It's made out of a different material. So these pants just stand out. Now, you can fit a whole iPad in the cargo pocket. It's insane. And the movement that you get, it's wonderful. And what I really respect about this brand is that everything is handmade. It does take a bit of time to make your pair of pants, but I feel like craftsmanship is something that we can all appreciate. Plus, I love supporting smaller brands and brands that are doing really cool things. So yeah, when it comes to styling, I like to lean into that more Asian streetwear type look. Got tech wear as well. I love these pants. This is already better than my last cargo pants video, right? Anyways, we got four cargo pants up next and they all come from the same brand. The brand is a local New York City brand and the designer is someone I really respect and someone that I really look up to, Fried Rice NYC. The growth I've seen from this brand is just insane. They've been featured in Hypebeast, Kendrick Lamar has worn it. They're in Urban Outfitters right now, it's pretty wild. So yeah, I got four cargos. We got the black strap cargos, the brown cargos, the tie dye, and the hunter camel strap cargos. And all of these cargo pants are so good in their own ways. The black strap ones have a ton of straps that come with it and you can customize it to however you want. The Hunter Camel is the exact same. I like to keep it simple and just tie a sash on the side so that it flows whenever I walk. It's very subtle and a simple way to add some layering and dimension to your fit. Now the Camel one is the same. You got a bunch of wild pops of color and texture, vibrant corduroy pockets with the Hunter Camel. That's something I never thought would work, but on these cargo pants, they look great. The brown cargos are like the black ones. There's just no straps. It's perfect for fall and the tie-dye ones definitely feel like a summer pant, but it can also be worn year round. I honestly believe you can't go wrong with any cargo pants from fried rice or any garments they make great stuff this jacket is actually from them as well when it comes to styling i like to rock it with some doc martens i just think doc martens and fried rice cargo pants they go perfect together but they also look great draped over a sneaker up next we have these parachute pants from needles tokyo and by the way this is just a side note if you're gonna rock cargo pants you want to go wide because I have some very slim ones from Amy Leon Dore. I think it looks horrible. Wide fit cargo pants are definitely the way to go. You don't have to go as wide as these ones, but I definitely think it's worth trying the sizing and then scaling back if it's not for you. I just want to put that out there. Anyways, these cargo pants are mad comfy. I rock these all the time. It's one of my go-tos. I think it looks great with some Rick Owens as well. Plus the amount of shape that these pants give you and your fits, it's definitely worth saving up for just for that. When it comes to styling, I like to juxtapose the wide aspect of these pants with something very slim. So something like the stand collar button up or a tank top for those of you guys about to ask i am five foot seven 165 pounds and topping it off we have another pair of nike acg cargos i talked about this in my last pickups video now i'm gonna be frank the deploy cargos that i talked about earlier from nike lab acg are way better they are way more worth it but these do have a pretty cool technical look you got that pocket that wraps right around the thighs the cinch pockets plenty of zipper pockets and an extended belt these cargo pants do have a lot going for it you just style this like any other tech cargos they look great with runners boots can't go wrong with that look and that is my updated cargo pants list if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly deuces